Hey, thanks for stopping by. This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And what I'm going to attempt to show you is single side band tuning on a portable radio. Now, this particular radio, this is the Texan PL-680. It has what I call old school tuning in that when you're trying to tune single side band, you have your main tuning and your BFO tuning. And I'll show you how, I'll try to show you how it works on this radio. I don't know how successful I'll be. Um, I've got this thing that's kind of kludged up, and let me show you what I mean. I'm not too proud of my setup right here, but it's hopefully it will work. I, um, I do not, I could not find my adapter, my antenna adapter, to plug in the um, coax cable into my side port on this radio. As usual, I've lost it. It's not gone, it's just lost, <laughs> misplaced. So I'm having to use a alligator clip, which is not the best setup, but it does work. I did try just using the built-in antenna, and that didn't work. Number one, the signals weren't as strong, or not as strong enough. And number two, the noise was too high in my shop here, my office. So I'm using via a alligator lead, alligator clip lead connection to my coax cable, which is connected to my G5RB outside antenna. So that's the setup, not the best in the world. I don't know what I did to that adapter. I guess I'm going to have to order some more adapters because I looked for 15 minutes and there's too many places for it to hide. So anyway, so this is the um, Texan radio and it does have single sideband mode. It does have one megahertz tuning, which it's in right now. It's in that mode right now. Uh, they call it uh, slow and fast mode in, on this particular thing. And it does have a single sideband mode, which it, it's this button right here. Let me zoom it back in now that I show you my terrible setup. And probably use a pin. Keep my fat. I'm sorry I keep having my hands waving. I, one of those people that can't talk without moving their hands. But anyway, right here is the single sideband button which you have to select to get into single sideband mode. And then you push it again. I think it starts off in USB upper sideband. Push it again to look, get lower sideband, which I'm in now because I'm on the 80 meter amateur radio band. And it is uh, eight o'clock, eight o'clock in the morning, which is a little late to trying to receive on 80 meters. But I'm gonna give it a try. I, I had it a few minutes ago. It may have all faded away. Let me turn up the volume and see what we got, if anything. Okay, one, one station is coming in pretty strong. Now what this is, is about this time of day, um, I believe it's in Florida, it's um, a net. And a net in the amateur radio world is when a particular time and frequency is set up to either talk about a specific topic or to give weather information or just say hello. And it'll run from 15 minutes to an hour, depending on how many people participate. So this is a net that's going on on 3.909. I don't know what net it is. But anyway, so I got a good source of signals. If um, there's some local people broadcasting, I'll be able to pick them up. Okay. Now, this, I, like I say, it will tune in two steps either 5 kilohertz or, excuse me, 
Yeah, 5 kilohertz or 1 kilohertz, similar to the Grundig 750. But the big advantage that the Grundig has, and if you watch my previous videos, you'll see it, is it has that huge tuning knob. Where this guy, you know, let me move it around a little bit, has got this tuning knob here. Now it's portable. They're trying to keep it compact so they don't want a bunch of big knobs and stuff. So this knob is pretty small. So you, it's a little touchy trying to tune at 1 kilohertz. And then you have to use, once you get the station close, then you use the BFO knob, which is right here, to tune in that single sideband. And it does have quite a range that it, you can tune it in. So that helps. So let me turn the audio back on. I'll quit babbling, and I'll let you watch me tune. Here we go. Now this radio is a very sensitive radio. I really like this radio. And it's worth the money. I think, ooh, I'll have to guess here because my memory is shot. I think it's about $135. I've done many videos on this radio. My previous best shortwave radio, a portable shortwave radio, this size, was the PL660, and I use it a lot. Now it has been replaced as far as my most popular radio with the 680. So that's what this radio is. It has a lot of features. You can go back to my previous shows and see all the features and everything. Um, so another thing that I remembered while I was tuning is this particular radio on that BFO knob has a detent so that as you're turning it you can feel that detent and that tells you that it's in the center of its range and as I said before when you start out tuning you want to have this in that center range to give you both a positive and negative range to fine tune it Let's try an, another frequency. See, we, let's see if we can find another frequency. Okay, here we go. Let me turn the volume up.
On the uh, the lower part of the amateur radio bands now, it's kind of informally dedicated to data transmissions, and that's what you're hearing there. We're down near the end of this 80 meter band, and this is data. I think that actually might be um, the still picture mode where you can transmit a picture via your radio. You know, via a picture of your house or your shack, or whatever. So I think we're too far down on the band now to get any voice contact. Let me see if I can find that station that we had before, or that frequency we had before. There's a station in there. Can't quite get him. As I said before, tuning single sideband is a little meticulous in that you really have to be on your toes as far as tuning it very slowly. You could easily go past a station and not even know it was there. Um, what else, I, thought, I thought of something else, and I can't remember what it was. Ah, it doesn't matter. Now this radio also has AM synchronous de detector, and that is that is a mode of the radio where it. Drops and I could explain this. I uh, maybe explain this wrong. It drops out the normal carrier coming from a transmission, and injects its own carrier, and therefore it doesn't fade in and out. So it's trying to prevent fading in and out. Now another thing that I've seen people do is when they're trying to to tune a uh, AM station, M2 isolation station on shortwave, and they're getting some interference, they will switch to single sideband to see if they can get away from that interfering signal or station, whatever. I've not had much luck with that. It does work. I've seen people illustrate it, so it does work. It's just, again, takes a lot of finesse to do that. I will try to do that in another video, but I don't know how successful I will be. So that's about it. So this is single side banding on a tuning on a portable radio. Again, and I'll have to go through my radios to find a radio that doesn't use a separate BFO to do the fine tuning of the signal on single side band. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. If you have any corrections, I welcome comments because I'm no expert and I'm getting to be an old fart so I forget things and I get things mixed up. So <laughs> correct me and prevent me from giving out bad information. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. That lets me know that you're enjoying these videos. Bye-bye.